good morning, my friends. Uh, today we have a new tense. If you remember, a few weeks ago we studied simple uh, present tense, which tells us about the general happenings and repetitive actions. And today we have a progressive test, tense, which uh, tells us about the continuous events that is going on. Activities are still going on or around now. Now or around now. Uh, look at these sentences. For example, I am studying English that at the time of speaking, the person is speaking, studying English. And she is reading a book that when I am telling this, there is somebody reading a book right now. And they are chatting, that means a group of people talking to each other right now. The event is going on. Uh, just let's uh, look at the use of present continuous. This is the most common use I want to discuss with you. Uh, it is uh, for the activities happening now or around now. What do I mean by around now? Maybe right now it's not happening, but it started before and it will continue later. For example, I'm reading a novel these days. Right now I am not reading, but I already started reading, but, and I haven't finished it yet, so it will continue. So around now means that. Uh, for example, Aditya is doing his homework in the garden now, and Chitra is reading a novel these days. So Aditya is doing the activity right now at the time of speaking. Chitra is not doing the activity right now maybe, but what we understand is she started book already and hasn't finished yet. Uh, now let's have a look at the form, the statements. Uh, how do we form the statements in present continuous tense? First, we use the subject. It can be pronounced as you can see here or any names you can attach like uh, Chitra or Aditya or Rashi Aditya, whoever, then we have to put the auxiliary verb be. And the auxiliary verb be in present continuous tense has three forms. One is M, only for I we use M. And R is used for you, we, you again, and they. R and for the third singular persons, we use is. He, she, it, is. Then the verb comes with an ing suffix suitably. Sometimes we might uh, repeat the last letter of the verb, but sometimes we can change the uh, end of the verb a little bit. But basically the idea is we add ing. And anything after that verb, the object, that verbs, etc., come in the sentence. Like, I am reading a book, you are listening to music, he is walking home, she is helping her mom, it is digging the ground, we are talking, you are studying hard, they are swimming. And these are the positive statements. And when we come to negative statements, the structure is almost the same, except we put not after auxiliary. And we can put not of in two ways, like this separately, or like am not, are not, is not, or we can join it like isn't, is aren't, right? We can put not in two different ways and the rest of the sentences are same. And how do we ask questions? To ask questions, we put the auxiliary verbs to the beginning before the subjects, right? Am I reading? Are you listening? Is he walking? Are they swimming? So if you pay attention, auxiliary verb B was here. Now it went to the beginning to form the questions. And that's all uh, for the present continuous tense. And Thank you for listening. See you next time.